Hey guys, it's your Tagal Mary and welcome back to our channel. Happy New Year! And syempre, hindi ko papalipasin ang 2021 nang hindi tayo nag upload ng last video bago tayo magtungo sa panibagong taon which is year 2022. Alam ko rin namang excited na kayo sa mga upcoming smartphones that will be released for the upcoming year. Pero syempre, it's better if meron tayong guide bago tayo bumili ng iPhone. Yes, to be specific, iPhones ang pag-uusapan natin for today's video. So yes, let's go back where we started. Dito tayo nag-umpisa sa 2021. Dito rin natin siya tatapusan. This will be the ultimate buyer's guide for the iPhone 13 series and ito rin yung mga mistakes na dapat nyong iwasan before buying one. So I will be starting with the 6 common mistakes na dapat natin iwasan bago kayo bumili ng inyong bagong iPhone 13. Mistake number 1. Let's state the obvious. Gusto ko lang sabihin that the iPhone 13 series, lahat po, mapa Pro Max, Regular iPhone 13, iPhone 13 Pro, and even the iPhone 13 mini are slightly thicker than the old iPhone 12 series. In fact, not just the thickness, pero pati yung kanilang camera arrays, kung makikita nyo, mas malaki kisa dito sa iPhone 12 Pro. So if you have the iPhone 13 and you decided to get an iPhone 12 Case, first question, bakit? Diba? Pero in case nga lang na bumili kayo ng iPhone 12 dahil akala nyo magkakasya siya sa inyong iPhone 13, it will not fit no matter what model. So, paalala lang po, in case na bibili nga kayo halimbawa ng mga iPhone 12 cases doon sa mga magbebenta sa inyo ng mga secondhand cases. Usually guys, kasi may mga ganito, I usually see bundle of cases na binibenta kasi nga nag upgrade na yung nagbebenta. Eh ikaw naman tong bumili ng iPhone 12 cases bundle kasi akala mo pwede siya doon sa bagong bili mong iPhone 13. So yes, ito yung mistake number one natin and I'm pretty sure most of you guys ay alam naman na ito. But to those who doesn't know yet, at least alam niyo na ngayon. And sa pagkakaalam ko rin naman, never naman ding nagproduce ang Apple ng cross-compatible cases. Except of course, the iPhone 10 and 10s and the SE series. Mistake number 2 is somewhat related sa mga last generation iPhones. And itong last generation iPhones is of course the iPhone 12 series. Usually no, kung mapapansin nyo, yung mga tao bumibili sila ng iPhone 12 series kapag lumalabas na yung mga bagong iPhone 13. Kasi nga, alam naman natin that most authorized resellers or even sa gray market, bumababa ang presyo or may price drop na nangyayari kapag lumabas na ang mga bagong iPhone 13 series. Gusto ko lang sabihin na sa mga nagpaplano to be specific ha, nagpaplanong bumili ng iPhone 12 Pro Max, you might as well just get yourself the iPhone 13 Pro. Which is this one. Take note for the price difference, konting-konti lang po. Konti lang to the point na hindi masyadong masakit kung idadagdag natin siya to get the iPhone 13 Pro because in the first place, makakabili naman kayo ng iPhone eh. What's 2 or 3,000 more if ang kaso naman eh, mabibili mo na yung latest iPhone model. And one of the reason guys is because yung battery life po ng iPhone 13 Pro is actually much better than the old or the last generation iPhone 12 Pro Max. Yup! Kahit na brand new pa na iPhone 12 Pro Max yung bibili nyo. At the same time, hindi lang better battery life ang makukuha nyo sa iPhone 13 Pro. Pero of course, you will be getting more and extra features katulad ng 120Hz ProMotion display, a better set of cameras, and of course, a better chipset. Mistake number 3 is don't buy an iPhone 13 mini if you fit these categories. Hindi ko naman sinasabing... Pangit siya, it's the worst, basura siya sa lineup. Basically, I have the iPhone 13 mini, so it's not really that bad. Pero, it really is all about the battery life. Lalo lalo na if you are coming from a superior smartphone from like a year or two. Halimbawa na lang ng iPhone 11 Pro Max or kaya naman ng Samsung Galaxy S20. Dito sa mga phones na to, kung galing ka, you will notice a very big battery change. Ibang usapan ito kung galing ka, of course, from a really, really 
old iPhone, katulad ng iPhone SE or kaya naman ng mga iPhone 6 series. Yes, it is still a powerhouse phone, pero if not as a secondary device, I honestly wouldn't recommend it. Mamaya, mas marami pa kayong malalaman about my buyer's guide sa 13 mini. Okay, so mistake number 4 naman tayo. Alam naman natin, or narinig natin palagi sa mga Apple event, Apple launch, na they have the best cameras when it comes to the iPhone 13 Pro and of course, the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I mean, they're not wrong. They are the best and amazing naman talaga. Pero kasi guys, yung cameras na meron tayo sa iPhone 13 mini and the regular iPhone 13 are already great. Sa mga hindi familiar or hindi nakakaalam, ang iPhone 13 mini and yung regular iPhone 13 already has the sensor shift technology na makikita natin from the last generation iPhone 12 Pro Max. Which we all know naman na exclusive lang din sa 12 Pro Max last year. Hindi lang ito guys, the 13 mini and the regular iPhone 13 gets more light kisa sa last generation iPhone 12 Pro Max. So yup, don't make this kind of mistake dahil I doubt na magsisisi kayo if you will be getting just the regular iPhone 13 and the 13 mini. You don't have to get the most expensive iPhones just to get the best of photos. Ngayon, mistake number 5 na tayo and this is all about ProRes video. During the event of the iPhone 13 series launch, alam naman natin guys na prinamis ni Apple na meron nga silang bagong or lalabas na ProRes update at the end of the year. And yup, meron na nga tayo nito as of the moment. And that is if nakapag-update na rin kayo ng mga iPhones nyo. So, kung isa ka sa mga taong nag-aabang nung ProRes format nga na ito, babala lang or don't make this mistake. Tanging iPhone 13 Pro, katulad ng meron tayo ngayon, and the iPhone 13 Pro Max ang meron nito. And take note, hindi lahat, okay? Only the 256 giga variants pataas ang merong ganitong klase ng camera format. Good reason din naman ito since ProRes videos take a lot of space. Hindi pwedeng 128 gig lang ang meron tayong internal storage kasi I am telling you guys, mauubos yan agad-agad. Last mistake na to ha. So we are already in mistake number 6. Kung kayo ay mahilig when it comes to taking night photos, night photography, take note lang guys that only the iPhone 13 Pro, again what we have right now, and the iPhone 13 Pro Max has the ability to shoot night photos sa lahat ng cameras niya. Be it ultra-wide camera, telephoto, or even the front camera. While the regular iPhone 13 and the 13 mini naman, only its main camera is capable of taking night photos. So yep, these are all the mistakes or common mistakes na alam ko. In case na meron kayong gustong idagdag or yung mga buyer's remorse nyo na na-experience, feel free naman to comment it down below para rin aware yung iba na bibili pa lang ng kanilang iPhone 13. Now na, tapos na tayo sa mga common mistakes. Ito na, pag-usapan na natin yung buyer's guide for the iPhone 13 series. Full disclaimer before we start, I tried all the iPhones. So, mapa Pro Max, 13 Pro, regular 13, or the 13 mini, nasubukan ko naman yan lahat. So, yes, I'm in the right position naman to tell all of this. But, of course, unfortunately, I have to sell yung hindi ko na kailangan or hindi ko nagagamitin, which is, of course, the 13 Pro Max and the regular 13, which is why I am only left with the iPhone 13 Pro and the iPhone 13 mini. Let's start with the iPhone 13. Feeling ko itong iPhone talaga yung nag-sell out fast. Yung talagang sought after din ng mga tao. And for me, it's also the best bang for your buck iPhone. Una, syempre, it has a really great battery life naman talaga. Maganda rin yung color choices na meron tayo sa iPhone 13. Bukod pa dito, of course, napakaganda rin ng cameras na meron tayo sa mga regular iPhone 13. Katulad nga lang sinabi ko kanina, it also has the same sensor shift technology na nakita natin last year sa 12 Pro Max. Bukod pa dito, it also has a better battery life as compared to the previous 
iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro. Para sa akin guys, ang iPhone 13 regular is for those people na mag upgrade coming from the regular iPhone 11 or kaya naman kayo ay galing from the iPhone 10s or even from the iPhone 10R. Now, if you are one of those people na of course, nagpa-planong bumili ng iPhone 13 mini, pakinggan nyo muna to. Alam ka namang cute ang iPhone, no? Para rin ito sa mga mahilig magpa-cute, katulad ko. <laughs> Pero cute naman talaga. And gabi rin yung binibigay niya sa akin na ease of use. Talagang ang gaang niyang gamitin and parang wala akong bitbet na cellphone kapag hawak ko siya. It's a pretty convenient iPhone device. Pero pakinggan nyo muna nga ulit ito. Sa so, mga hindi pa nakakalam or... Baka alam niyo na bago kayo sa Apple ecosystem, this iPhone 13 mini has the same specs doon sa iPhone 13 regular. Except of course the display size and medyo mas malaki ang battery not. I would recommend the iPhone 13 mini for those people who sits on their phone for around 4 to 5 hours. This is a day guys ha. Every day ganito lang yung kaya niyang i-offer sa inyo lalo na kung heavy user ka nga. And i-ready nyo na rin yung sarili nyo because every night bago kayo matulog you need to charge your iPhone 13 mini. Hindi katulad ng iba pang iPhones sa lineup nila. And and kung medyo heavy user ka naman, katulad ko, you'll need to charge it twice a day. Alam ko naman it's a real powerhouse for a small device. Pero again, hindi siya para doon sa mga power user. So yes, para ito sa mga tao na nagpaplanong mag-upgrade from the iPhone SE or kaya naman iPhone SE second generation, I would say this is something worth considering. Ngayon, no, usapang iPhone 13 Pro naman tayo. Ang iPhone 13 Pro, it has the same size with the regular iPhone 13, same battery inside, but of course, you get extra features katulad ng ProMotion display. Mas pro din yung lenses na meron tayo dito sa kanya because of the extra telephoto lens and of course, the macro photography. So, yup, it's gonna be a great phone talaga, lalo na sa mga pro users natin dyan. And actually, kung napanood niyo yung aking iPhone 13 na pro full review, ito rin yung nirecommend ko na phone. Para sa akin, ang iPhone 13 pro ay para doon sa mga tao who are coming from the, let's just say, flagship phones, katulad ng Samsung Galaxy S10, or kaya naman, galing kayo from the uh, Huawei P30, or the Huawei P40, or kung kayo ay galing iOS devices, pwede kayong mag-upgrade from the iPhone XS Max or kaya naman ng 11 Pro Max. Huli-huli, iPhone 13 Pro Max naman tayo. Medyo marami akong kaibigan or kakilala na 13 Pro Max ang binili. Alam naman natin, obviously, it has a bigger display and a bit better battery life as compared to the 13 Pro. Yun lang naman talaga ang lamang ng Pro Max. Para sa lineup ng 13 guys ha, kasi iba ang kaso sa 12 series. Para sa akin, ang iPhone 13 Pro Max are for those people who are planning on upgrading from the iPhone 11 Pro Max, iPhone XS Max, or for those people who are really used to smartphones na may malalaking display. Lalong-lalo na no, kung galing kayo sa mga Android devices na flagship, katulad ng Samsung Galaxy S21 series or even the S20 line up. Lalong lalo na for those people na medyo malalaki yung kanilang mga kamay and sanay nga naman sa mga mabibigat na phones because uulitin ko, hindi lang siya basta malaki pero mabigat din. So yeah, that's basically it para sa ating common mistakes na dapat iwasan at buying guide para sa ating iPhone 13 series. Gusto ko sanang dagdagan pa katulad ng guide when it comes to differences between Hong Kong units, Japan units, US units, NTC, at kung ano-ano pang klase ng variants na nauuso ngayon, of course, lalong-lalo na if you will be buying again from the gray market. Pero masyado nang magiging mahaba yung video natin guys, but let me know kung gusto nyong gumawa ko ng separate video for that. That's pretty much it. Again, Happy New Year to everyone and maraming salamat guys for a very wonderful year na kasama kayo and sana samahan nyo pa rin ako for next year 2022. Again, it's your Target Mary and see you next year. Bye guys!